Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 19th of October 2017. So starting off in the pound yesterday, uh, we've got uh, a couple of spikes here. And uh, the reason for these are the uh, unemployment figures when they were released at uh, 9.30. If we just have a look here, you can see that uh, unemployment uh, drops by 52,000, but pay squeeze continues. And uh, this is why we saw this uh, volatility in this uh, area here before the pound then traded sideways and then eventually uh, moved back to the upside there. So fairly quiet on the pound, uh, very subdued reaction really to what uh, was unveiled yesterday for the unemployment figures. And you can see this in the daily chart, as we mentioned yesterday, it was starting to get narrower in range and starting to trade sideways and that appears to be the case. Still finding support at the 62% at 131.44. Meanwhile, in the twilight zone, which is uh, the Dow Jones, uh, we'll start off in the five minute. You can see there, start of the session is uh, what's become the norm. Absolutely no activity. Then we get uh, a buy signal and the market moves higher from this, eventually starts to break out. It's the earnings season and a big blue, which I think is IBM, uh, reported yesterday. You can see how the market then moved higher. Every time it came back towards the 20 bar average, it just uh, bounced off it and then moved higher. And then was sideways in the evening part of the session. The market at the moment, uh, still higher, 23,150. Uh, seven is where we're at at the moment and in the daily chart you can see that we've got uh, this new all-time high at uh, 23,174. It's a relentless uh, climb but uh, this is uh, really important uh, for yesterday. There are two things actually. The first is uh, is this and that is the, the volume for yesterday. Look how low the volume was given the range of this bar. You've got this huge move to the upside and that's what you get you get uh, the least volume that's been traded for days in the market and you've got this uh, continuing downtrend in volume if you just drag the chart to the left you will see that we had days where we actually had what was something called uh, volume and you can see there these spikes and then all of a sudden the market uh, breaks out this way and guess what happens we see the average volume drop off this is Again, it's you know becoming a bit of a cliche on my part, but it is a market that is just levitating. It's um, filled with helium and moving to the upside. Let's just have a quick look at the news and I'll show you the second part of uh, what's uh, going on in this market as well, which is really strange. Uh, we've got um, retail sales this morning for the UK. Their forecast lower. Uh, they'll come up with an excuse as to why they are. Uh, unemployment claims for the US, that's the weekly one. And then uh, Philly Fed is uh, out at one uh, thirty. There's nothing else for the market today. As uh, the Dow put on so much yesterday, I would expect the market to consolidate today and be sideways. So keep that in mind as well. Right, so have a quick look at the implied volatility, something very important going on. in. So in the implied volatility, we've got a situation where the uh, percentages increased from 7.34 to 7.65. Now, given what was happening in the underlying market uh, yesterday, you would have thought that we'd have headed down towards the 6.24 that uh, was made in uh, July. But uh, this wasn't to be the case at all. This is actually going the wrong way, given the underlying market's uh, relentless uh, pursuit to uh, the upside. Uh, you would expect this to move lower. So there's some nervousness starting to creep into the market here. I mean, there's one thing in seeing the market move higher for a few days, but this, as I say, it's a, uh, an unassailable march to the upside. I know I keep saying that they want the market higher, and they certainly do. They want to keep the illusion alive that everything is fine in the economy. But uh, there are starting to be signs here creeping in, especially the fact that the options are being marked up as uh, the market is also moving higher. That's, uh, that's not uh, a divergence in the normal pattern. So something to be aware of there as uh, prices continue to the upside. 
and basically if this continues then it's going to be a major warning for uh, traders that if something isn't quite uh, right or confirm that we know something isn't uh, quite right at the moment and just before we close let's have a look at what the bond yields are doing at the moment I'll just bring this down so you can see it we've got a situation here make it a bit uh, bigger there if we go back to 2001 or just before you can see that the yield curve that's the nearby contract yields are higher than the further out uh, longer term the three month is higher than the 30 year and this uh, when this happened we saw the market uh, the underlying market uh, crash and move lower uh, and also in um, 2007 2008 we also saw the yield curve invert here as well. Now as we move through uh, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016 and as we move into this year you'll see if you look at the left hand side of the chart how this starts to move higher and that's where we're currently currently at. You can see that it's starting to move up that scale on the left hand side and should this invert, it has done in China uh, yesterday the yield curve is inverted there uh, keep an eye on this because again this could be a precursor I'm not saying that it's cast in stone but there is an interesting pattern there before the 2000 uh, crash and also the uh, 2008 it happened in 2007 so there is this situation where this uh, can happen and we're seeing the yield curve flatten at the moment so again keep that uh, in mind as well this uh, is available to actually see if you want to have a look at it on a daily basis at stockcharts.com forward slash free charts forward slash yield curve dot php. Right, that will do it uh, for today. If I see anything, hear anything, I will let you know. Other than that, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.